Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. Yo, I got to change Franklin eyes for real. <laughs> this thing look creepy. But yeah, welcome to another Let's Go to Work episode. Today, we actually got to work. We actually got to do a real job. Yeah, real job. Probably going to bring a lot of memories back to me. But right now, let's get out of here. Uh, we have to shop right now because I had to pick up this Nova. We might race this this weekend. This is the drag Nova, not the murder out Nova. But the only thing I'm worrying about if the police, um, the I mean, the police might try to stop me because of the um, parachute, but we'll see. And first of all, I know some of you guys be having that like when you, you know, you busy, but your auntie just call you like, yo, I need a ride. I need a ride to work and I don't care what you're doing. I need a ride to work. <laughs> oh, ah, come on. Yo, I can't even drive this. What? What are even crashing it? Ugh, come on, this thing is, is is fast though. And talk about talk about aunt man. I know uh, when when uh, last time my aunt got in my car, she was so man. She she's so scared of fast cars. <laughs> she got so scared. Oh come on, dude. Yo, I can't drive this without like without no crashes. Like for real. All right, so I gotta pick up my aunt. My aunt is over there, and let's. Let's just do that. I was thinking about the gas station, but I'm like, damn, is that way? All right, so I work at the airport. All right, she work at the airport, so I gotta drop her off at the airport, and I gotta go to um to this job. Where is she? Wait, wait, she's over her friend house, knowing that I'm here to pick her up, though. Damn, yo. Oh shoot, I almost crashed. Where is she? Come on, all right, like what the hell, Denise? What's wrong with you? All right, so we got to drop her off at the airport, man. I remember my auntie almost jump out my car because of how fast I was going, <laughs> but I was in a hurry. I know it was. I know it was reckless. I shouldn't done. I, sh I shouldn't even done that, but I don't know. It's just sometimes it's fun to just scare her like that. I know she's OK. I know she's OK. My my aunt just lose it for everything. And I know if my cousin is watching right now, you know what I'm talking about. I don't need to name no. I don't need to say no names. <laughs> so when I drive fast, man, she just see. Even if you don't want sixty to seventy, like she don't even like it. But sometimes I, you know, I take it back because I'm like, you know, I play, I play around with her for a bit, and then I stop because it's based off an experience that she had when. Um, when she had her license because she she gave up her license a while ago after one accident. That's one thing I always tell people like after you had your accident, you got to keep driving. If you don't, it's going to be hard to get back to driving again. What is this guy doing? I'm hearing like a loud noise outside. If you guys can actually hear that is the guy cleaning our yard right now. That is crazy. That is mad loud. Anyway, we're dropping off our auntie and then oh shoot. Yo, that was a lunch. That was a lunch. That was crazy. Oh my God. And we got to go to work. And guess what we're going to be today, guys? Wait, I think I just. Oh, is it on this side? Aunt? Where are we dropping you off at? Right here? All right, right here should be good. All right, let me make sure that. Howdy, guard. And you can actually um, leave. <laughs> By the way, guys, this is Sample Native Trainer. You have. Um, you have the option to just do whatever you want. All right, all right. I can't pick you up. You're gonna have to catch a bus. All right. <laughs> she be all right, guys. All right. So we have to head back to the bus station, which is right up there. If you haven't done that yet, you're gonna have to soon, especially if you if if that was your aunt that raised you too. <laughs> Come on, let's hurry up now. Um, we about to try this mod. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. Of course, uh, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. The link will be under this video description. If I forgot, always remind me, please. Because sometimes when you're done uploading, and you, it, it's, it's all. It, I always have like this template um for my description, and then whenever I have like new mods and stuff like that, I try my best to add them. But there's so much mods to add, guys. That's why I always tell you guys, yo, I get most of my mods from GTA5Mods.com, and this is one of the main sites. Like I'm checking that site like almost every day. Whenever a new mod come out, hey, oh shoot, yo, really, dude? You just gonna cut me off like that, though? 
Anyway, we got to go. We got to go to work. If I didn't have to go to work, I would definitely be stopping beat up this guy right now. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Okay, okay. This is when you lose control. Let go the gas. And just trying to get around. All right, anyway, we made it. We made it. We made it. I got a chance to drive a Nova around. I mean, after multiple crashes, but um we'll be all right. Damn, everybody made it to work already? I'm the only one that's late. Uh-huh. Seems like I'm the only one that's late. All right. All right. All right. What time is it already? Nine o'clock? Oh, 729. I'm early. I'm early. Let's do this. Lock our door. Yo, what's up? What's up, Jimmy? You working today? All right. Come on, man. All right. Select route. Uh, morning wood. You know what? I did this route. Already. Let's let's try this route. Uh, select route four. Okay, start mission. All right, this is our route for today. Like, I haven't seen one of those mods like in a while too. You know, I might have to turn this off. No, no, not this. But wait, where is it? I forgot which key that I changed it to. Nope, not the. Nope. All right, I don't even remember which key that I changed this thing to. It is what it is. F5 maybe? Nope. F2? Yes, there you go. We're just gonna remove that for the bus. All right, guys. We are a bus driver right now. We'll do some first-person view in a minute, but this is our first stop for today. Station Del Perro. Next station. Del Perro. There you go. Plaza. Yo, this is crazy. This is this is working. This is working. This is working. Yo, I'm all excited right now because I'm a bus driver. And talking about um, anybody can still catch the bus. Man, I used to catch the bus for mad like for for so many years. So that was that was just my my regular routine, man. That was just my regular routine. And man, they are some grimy bus drivers out there. I understand they doing their jobs. But they are some grimy bus drivers out there, man. <laughs> All right, so we got about 22 stops. No, 23 stops. All right, that's our route for today, man. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy that. But um, I guess we got a long way to go. Let's just talk. All right, this graphic, this graphic is not that bad. All right, but yeah. Talking about um, story time. Um, yes, I used to catch the bus when I used to be in high school. Now my my school was like right next to my house, but I had to catch the bus right after school because I had to go to work right after school. I started working like maybe around the tenth grade. Tenth grade, of course, that's when I started living alone. You guys, you guys know the whole story, man. But I'm um, talking about story time as far as grimy bus drivers. That route where I used to work at, these bus drivers used to do me so dirty. So the bus that I used to catch, like um, I had to go all the way to Chief Set Bay, right? Chief Set Bay after 12 o'clock, it used to be like back in the days, it used to be so hard to um, catch a bus. Station Only, Robert yo, this Hills. dude with the lawn mower, Station. like for real. It's making mad noise. I don't know if you guys can actually hear it. Hopefully, um, my mic is not gonna pick that up. Hopefully not. But yeah, so this um, the the hours that I used to work is between four to twelve, and from four to twelve, like four o'clock, I will it will be easy to catch a bus, Station. of course. Excellent oh program. shoot, damn! Next I almost station. passed my stop. There was nobody there. I guess that's the way he felt too. Since there's nobody there, you could just move on, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm not gonna follow no traffic rules, of course, because it would take forever to do an episode, especially being a, a bus driver. So the only traffic rules, we, I mean, two traffic rules we're not gonna follow is um, we're not stopping for red lights and we don't care about the speed. I mean, I'm not gonna speed like crazy. I mean, you can't really go that fast with this bus. Station oh shoot. Plaza. Next station, harsh souls. Do we have anybody? Yo, there's nobody on these routes. Hey, that's okay. That's okay for me. At least I know it's not gonna be a busy day. 
But yeah, talking about my hours that I used to work, right? It just brings back so much memories, though, just being on a bus, um, having my headphones on, just being on a bus and just, you know, just just trying to get to work and stuff like that, whether you're early, whether you're on time. Yo, this is an empty route, so I could just chill all oh, this route for real. Or maybe the mod is not working. Now I'm playing. <laughs> We'll do some. I mean, we'll do first person for a while, and then we'll just move on to something else after. Oh shoot! My dog got the old school, but I gotta pass you though. But yeah, um, as far as grind meat, man. So at that job, right? At that job, like it was back in the days. So I can't believe they have the fingerprint punch in. So you have to put your finger to actually punch in. Yo, there's nobody on these routes. I love it. Easy route, or maybe because it's so early right now. But um, you have to punch in. So the messed up part about that job, which I think was grimy, if you punch out between any time between 11:50 to 11:53, you lose the whole 30 minutes. So it's like it it looked like you punch out at 11:30. And it was a machine, so there was not like no like yo, I gotta catch the bus, bro. I gotta catch the bus. It it didn't matter. So we have to punch in and punch out, you know. I gotta make sure I punch in by four o'clock. I always make it because I used to get off work. I I used to get off school by like two two thirty, two forty. Oh, okay, we got people now. Finally. How you guys doing? You guys good? Alright, they switched their seat like that. All right, next. Yeah, so um, I couldn't punch in even at eleven. Oh shoot! What? What's going on? Oh, I didn't see you, bro. I didn't see you. I don't want to get out. Get out that bus, man. I got. I got people right now, man. Next station, Strawberry. Is somebody getting out? Yo, dude, I don't want to fight. Oh, damn! You didn't kick my. All right, all right. This dude want to fight. Oh, yo, he stole my bus. Stole my bus with my customers. Yo, you tried it. Yo, he just stole my bus. First day on the on the job, this happened. Now nah, we gonna fight. We gonna fight. We gonna fight, bro. You gain this ass whoop. You gain this ass whoop. I know. I I know. I did cut you off. Look at these guys. Just oh, I thought it was eating a burgers or something. All right, you got knocked. You got knocked out. Yo, better not snitch on me. It's my first day on the job, man. First day on the job. Yo, I just lost somebody already. I don't even think we're going to make that much money. All right, so I got to oh, I got to come around there. Yo, look at that other route though. That's crazy. I'm happy they didn't call the cops on me though. Yeah, so if you punch at 11 even at 11:59, guys, even at 11:59, you lose the whole half hour. So I had to punch at 12 o'clock every day and the bus pass at 1205, 1206 the latest. And I had to run five, at least five to six blocks just to get to the bus stop. Imagine that that was me every day. And if I miss that bus, guess what? The next bus actually pass at one o'clock, maybe two o'clock. The one o'clock bus is like an iffy bus. So you know that bus like that. Sometimes it passes, and sometimes it just don't. Oh, I think that driver just don't stop. That's what I was thinking. Um, that probably happened with that bus. But yeah, is that that used to be like my struggle, man. That used to be my struggle like every day from 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. I was working because I had to take care of my brother. I had to take care of myself. Um, and that's that's why I always tell you guys, you guys that have like your mom and dad around and stuff like that. Definitely appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate that luxury. Let's just say that, <laughs> because there are a lot of us, man, that did not grow up with you know any parents around or stuff like that. I mean, I did. My mom was around. My dad had, um, I guess, passed away or whatever. But I mean, it was just it was just a different struggle. I trying to live with my aunt. Couldn't do it. The All right, there you go. There you go. We good. We good. Come on. All right, if that's everybody. Oh, you didn't say you was coming too, fool. Yo, yo, you gotta pay for the. You know what? It's whatever. It's whatever. 
I feel like the bus driver just be feeling sorry for those people that can't pay and just like, you know what, go. Just just come on. Let's go. I will feel the same way though. I will definitely feel the same way. But um yeah, what I was trying to say is if you're going through it right now, man, just do what you gotta do. Trust me, it's not it's not gonna be forever. It's not gonna be forever because I had no idea like I will be at the place that I am right now. I mean, definitely thank you to you guys, of course. But this, I, I, even doing this bus driving job, right, bring back so much memories because I remember sitting that up in that bus for so like so many times, saying like, "Y'all, I I can't wait to get that car." Remember when I got my first car, man? I I like I just stopped getting on the bus. <laughs> I mean, I use it when I can. Of course, the train. And when you're in New York, you gotta ride. You gotta get on the train. Next time I go to New York, like I've been trying to get on the train for the longest. It's been a while, but you gotta get on the train because it, it train buses and all that stuff. And I heard the price. They raised the price for all these things too, man. That's crazy. But I remember back. It used to be like what one something, one seventy five or something like that. That's how I used to pay the bus. Like you know, just get on the bus, do what I have to do and stuff. But man, it's uh, that's why I, you know what? Most of you guys are having your parents around, your parents to drive you places, buy you stuff. Yeah, man, appreciate that. Trust me. Some of us didn't, uh, don't have that luxury, of course. I have. Yo, what's up with these guys? Yo, come on. So you're not getting off? Look like he's glitching out. It looked like there's two people waiting on the bus, but they can't get on. All right, I don't see them. That's okay. We're just gonna keep moving. Yeah, as far as buying stuff, man, I had to buy my own, my own for, I, you know what? I mean, I told you guys that already, like starting at an early age, like 14, 15. And um, another thing too that I learned while working, there are people that will offer you these these jobs just for you to quit school. Whoa. Damn, for real. They chasing the SS right now. Yeah, so I remember temptation was real. Temptation was real. This job, I mean, this guy offered me this job. I mean, I almost took it, but I like at the end of the day, a, a job is not forever. Like whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing is not forever. People be thinking like, oh, my job is the safest job ever. Unless your parents or your people own the company. OK, but there's no job that's safe out there. Now, he pro he actually offered me to quit high school. So I could come work for him full time. So, um, and then the, the the pay was well too. He offered me like imagine in high school, you was getting almost sixty k like easily, because it was it was it was a really good job. It was a really good job, but I was like, nah, man, I gotta finish school. I gotta finish school because I was like, I I don't want to be that guy that like. After he probably get mad at me, fire me, or whatever the case is, and guess what? I gotta go back and get my GED now. I gotta go back to night school. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. Nah, man. I was like, yo, I'm gonna finish with day school and all of that. I mean, definitely shout out to all you guys that had to do that, learn from your mistake, and move forward from that. But I was just trying to avoid that. I feel like if I made that decision today, I would have regret that so much because I was like, yo, temptation was real. Imagine making. Um, 50 almost. I, I think it was like 50 something thousand that he offered me. It was like, yo, I'll pay you that yearly. I'll teach you everything you need to know this and that. It was a pretty cool job because um, his company was um, he was getting real money in New York, like for real. But I, I made the decision like, nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. I, I took a job for like, what, 30, 30,000 while in high school. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. That I was making 30,000 while in high school. Um. And um, my first paycheck. Guess guess what I bought with my first paycheck, guys. <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, was it like what was either a PlayStation Two or something like that? One of those PlayStation. That was my first paycheck because I know once I'm done working, I get to go home and just play play video game and just enjoy myself. Because that was my getaway. I don't know what's your getaway. I'm um, driving and um, video game was my getaway, like when I was in high school and stuff like that. I mean, I I had a lot of problems, of course, but not too crazy because I managed like I had I had to, to be an adult at, a, at an early age. And I had to turn into an adult at an early age and I did what I had to do. 
That's why most of you guys, if you're going through whatever you're going right now, I don't know. There's so many of you guys that I'm talking to right now. Just do what you got to do, man. Keep going. Keep your head up. That's one thing for sure. Keep your head up. Now, if you're doing something stupid now, hey, <laughs> wake up and you know change. It, it only you, you're the only one that could change. Wait, what is what is this lady doing? Is she coming or not? You're the only one that could change your like the way you go and the path you take and stuff like that. Certain people might scare you off. I, I don't think this lady's going. Yeah, is there certain people advice that are good or bad? Depends on what you listen to. Depends on what you take in. Um, but don't don't like. There's certain people that just trying to scare you, like especially tell you like, yo, you can't do this, you can't do that. Like that that never stopped me. That's one of that's one of the things that never stopped me because I remember people telling me like, yo, you can't be. Or especially the people that's gonna tell you. I mean, I'm sorry for even saying it like that, but you ain't never gonna be shit. That's those people that's looking at you today and like, damn, damn. All right, so we did, we did it, guys. We did it, we did it in what 20 minutes, <laughs> and I still have guys, and the bus is still okay. We crashed the bus probably a couple of times, but yeah, just like I say, guys, this um, this actually this bus brings so much memory. That's why I was just rambling like that. Sorry if I was rambling too much, just experience and stuff like that. But um, I'm gonna call my mechanic so I can get a car right now, so I can actually go I'm on the home. Clock. What you want? Some wheels? Yeah, let me see. No, look how many cars we have though. Last time we took the Camaro out, right? Uh, the Hellcat we took that out last time too. Um, we got the other Nova. I don't even know which car to take right now. No more, no more fast cars, right? You know what? What's that? Um, let's go back to the muscle car garage. All right, you know what? This. I'll get there as soon as I can. Please. But yeah, guys. Um, I know when I'm talking like that, uh, the right person, uh, the right people will actually hear what I'm saying and stuff like that. But other than that, man, this is always fun. You guys already know I always enjoy GTA and Red Dead Online is finally out. Are you guys ready for that? It's finally out. Um, it's I think it's officially gonna be like alpha almost everybody on Friday or something like that. Oh, is it out for everybody already? I'm guessing. Yo, you crashed this? Really, dude? How you crashed this, yo? I'm gonna end up firing, firing my mechanic, but I won't have no mechanic after that. That's crazy. Now I gotta fix this thing. All right, so we did what we had to do, guys. I am out of here. I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys next time, man. Peace.